Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the 17th of November. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's have a look at the news. Of course, we saw a mixed session in US equities overnight as markets struggled to follow through with conviction after the earlier gains in the week. And we are near key technical levels to the upside. So markets essentially needing more convincing to move even higher than we have already. US futures, however, are slightly higher in Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed at this stage. ASX is really flatlined somewhere between 0.1 and 0.2% to the downside. The VIX is weaker, suggesting markets are in a reasonably good place, being at seven-week lows. And European futures are pointing to a positive but cautious open at this stage. The US dollar index is just about holding on to support around the 200 EMA. And we saw a good night in commodities, which seems to have been continued to some degree in Asia. We see gold continuing its V-shaped bounce after that one-day pause we had. Copper breached the medium-term trading range, just struggling a little bit in Asia to consolidate on that. But we suspect we may get another uptick in the European session. And all continues to drop and is now at early July levels. And that is obviously good news from an inflation point of view. Uh, Bitcoin surged again to 18-month highs this week, but really sort of over the last couple of days, it hasn't really moved very much. We are looking for a breach of 38,000 to take us up to 40. And it is the end of earnings season in the US with just the retailers reporting. We've got a couple of big players next week reporting, including NVIDIA. So that's one to keep an eye on. Middle East continues to be a market concern, but this stage seems to have dampened down in terms of market narrative. On the data front, we've got UK retail sales out and Europe zone CPI this afternoon, both of which may obviously move the local currencies. And we've got some US housing data due out today also. Maybe a bit of Friday profit taking in light of the week we've had as well. Wouldn't rule that out just in case there's some risk coming off the table. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We're actually going to start by looking at a US stock. I'm going to look at Starbucks Corp. You can see there, this was a nice earnings bump that put it back over the 200 MA. And since then, we've had a steady move upwards, a little bit of a decline at the back end of last week. But then we've continued this trend to the upside. And now we're at a key level at around about 107.20. We see plenty of upside in this, uh, possibly a move up to 114, as you can see there, providing we had a breach of this. So say... Around about 107.75 as an entry, that would be a very, very healthy 6% return on a stock, which is really quite solid fundamentally, as you can see in terms of that earning response. In the FX world, we'll just keep an eye on the New Zealand dollar yen. We've seen some yen strength over the last day and a half. You can see we are in this downwards trend channel. We've tested the S1 level at 89.50 in this morning's trading so far. If we breach that, we could see a 50 pip move down to test 89. So this is one we'll keep an eye on. At this stage, it looks as though there's a rejection to move any lower. Uh, but we'll see what happens when uh, the European traders wake up. At this stage, certainly one to keep an eye on. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.